Snake TV. Today we have Hugh Cornwell, former lead singer of the Stranglers, who's here in Austin for the South by Southwest Music and Film and Interactive Festival. How are you today, Hugh? I'm, do I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The sun's shining, so um, it's nice. I was at your set last night, and boy, that was a great set. How did you think it went? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done many shows this year, so, um, so I was quite pleased with the way it went, yeah. This is your only appearance here in the States. For a while. For a while. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you were here? God. Well, uh, I last played in Austin in 1984 mm -hmm. with the Stranglers. Mm -hmm. And then there was, the town was, uh, everything was no more than two stories. And Willie Nelson didn't have a beard. So that's how long ago it was. Wow. Uh, and um, then the last time I was in Texas was about five years ago. And I did a show, in an acoustic, another acoustic show in an art gallery in Dallas, mm -hmm. uh, and that was about five years ago. So, uh, the States, I haven't been in the stateside for a couple of years to do any shows, but I'm hoping to come back this summer and um, and swirl through California, Texas, Midwest, and then uh, mm -hmm. end up in New York in July, August. Now, last night's so show was a solo acoustic performance, and yeah. I spoke with some of the audience before the show, and. A lot of them were surprised to to see that you were out touring and performing solo. They expected ah. you with a band. Well, I was going to bring the band, but the uh, but uh, the drum was we decided to go off fishing, and uh, my ba my female bass player called Caroline, she was just moving, so it was it was it wasn't really um, uh, it was really difficult to organise to bring the band over. But we will be back. This is just a call. That was just a calling card last night. Well. From the reaction of the people I spoke to, everybody was just thrilled with the way the songs turned out. I, I know that when I heard that uh, you were going to be performing solo, I was kind of curious as to how some of your music, especially some of the old Stranglers numbers, were going to work because they're somewhat crunchy and, yeah. and need a hard driving, seem to need a hard driving bass or guitar. Well, I thrashed that acoustic guitar within an inch of its life. You did. I, I was pretty pretty amazed to see what you could do with that thing. <laughs> the um, the uh, arrangements that you did with the acoustic really worked out well. Uh, Golden Brown was an especially good song last night. Yeah, well I've had a few years now to work out on some of the... Cause I only do ones that I think really work. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean someone a few a couple of years ago she was shouting out, Can you do toiler on the sea? And I thought, how on earth am I gonna to do toilet on the sea on on acoustic guitar? So some of them don't work, but some of them lend themselves perfectly to um, to a, just a guitar and a voice. Well I was uh, I was surprised to, to hear nice and sleazy, but boy I was It works. It works and it, yeah. it, it worked really well. I, I did a little bit of filming last night and I watched it today and Boy, it was just a gorgeous song done, done acoustically. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. Um, what What have you got on tap right now? I know you've got a, a CD that that you got coming out, don't you? Yes, D uh, Dirty Dozen. It's a it's a compilation of twelve tracks from a triple uh, live album, which is available on mail order from my website, uh, hughcornwell.com, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we we can't get a triple album in the shops, but we can get a so a single album. So we've taken the 12 tracks compilation from those, it's 45 tracks on that triple out live album, the band, and that's uh, that's coming out in this uh, in the next couple of months, and then I will tour after that. Who is your label currently? Well, uh, I've got at the moment a, a very nice relationship with a label in uh, based in London, run by uh, some young people. Uh, called Invisible Hands Music, mm -hmm. and um, everything's going fine. And so we're going to, uh, in conjunction with them, we're going to license it, uh, the record in in America. How how's your relationship been with them? It's been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, uh, they 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 got uh, distribution deals for Beyond Elysium Fields in a few territories outside of the UK, mm -hmm. and uh, that was working very well. So we uh, and they asked me for this live record. So I thought I'd 
trust it's well like you've got a child and you're you're giving your child to someone to, to look after you know so yeah. um so you have to be careful who you give it to oh yeah yeah you just walked out of a panel that you were participant not walked out but uh, i didn't walk out no the, it the finished and yeah I the panel finished and, and we <laughs> left but uh, it was a very interesting panel discussion and you had some pr interesting panelists up there with you kathy valentine from mm -hmm. the go-go's and michael De desbars and and the Hanson brothers of all people, which yeah. I, I found an odd pairing for, yeah. for it seemed like the the older crowd on one side and the I younger know. crowd on the other I side. Know. How did that panel work out for you? How did how did you feel? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was quite nice. And Marco, my old mate Marco Peroni, was there from Adam's band, <laughs> and um, it was nice. It's it's always nice to do those panels because you 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 meet people you would never expect to meet mm -hmm. normally. You know, you're brought together like I've never met. Um, Kathy before, mm -hmm. and I'd never met Michael before. BP Fallon, I remember he was on it too. BP Fallon, wasn't he? Um, uh, I hadn't met the Handsome Boys before. At first, I thought they said it was going to be the Handsome family, and I know those that <laughs> couple. They're lovely. Uh, and then I suddenly thought, well, one of them must have changed sex, and the other one's you know, suddenly growing younger. But um, but those boys were were very um, articulate. And it's nice to know that you know. Yeah. Um. What's next for you? I mean, you've got you you played last night. You were on the panel discussion here today. Or? Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of DJing tomorrow oh, at, really? with for Spin Magazine party. Uh, then I'm going back to America. Uh, going back to America. Going back to the UK on Saturday on St Patrick's Day. Cause I've got to rehearse with the band because we've got to do a series of shows in Germany. Mm -hmm. And I've just finished uh, the demos for a new studio album. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be recorded after uh, April or May, uh, and then I'm going to do a UK tour in June. Come back here July, August, and then um, and then what? And then some more UK dates, and then some more American dates, and then 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 it's holiday time. I think I don't know. It all kind of runs together, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all you know. Today we were mi we lost track of what year it was today. Yeah. Is this your first South by Southwest? Yes, it is. What do you think of the experience so far? Yeah, uh, look, I tell you, the year last year, or was it the year before? No, last year I did N by N E, uh -huh. North by Northeast, which is in Toronto, the yeah. sister festival, which is much younger, right. and uh, so it's like that, but but more organised and more things going on, and so uh, yeah, it was fun. Are you um, are you getting to partake in some of our great barbecue at some of these? Day parties or well, I've only I only came yesterday, so I only arrived yesterday, so I haven't had that chance yet. But um, I'll probably get around to that. Okay. Well, Hugh, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and talking with us today. My pleasure, uh, Jeff. Hugh's got a, a new album coming out. It's uh, twelve. What was the name of it? Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen. Nothing to do with the film, though. No. Um, twelve great tracks from from uh, a musical legend. Um, for Club King Snake TV, this is Jeff Berenger reporting with Hugh Cornwell. Uh, everybody have a nice day.